Professor Idawan Osan at UCLA gets to turn cool tech toys into even cooler tools that chemists and other scientists can use to test water quality, detect diseases, and more. We've converted the cell phone into blood analyzers, into bacteria detectors, you name it. He also gets to experiment with gadgets that aren't even out yet. Professor Osan and his team used Google Glass to take pictures of medical test strips and get instant results. His latest gadget modification is a tester that can tell you how much mercury is in the water. Mercury is really bad for you. Just a small amount can mess with your nervous system and your brain. So the professor built this add-on to his Android phone. There is an attachment that goes to the back of the cell phone. And this attachment is um, using nanoparticles, particles that are made out of metal, like gold, that are very small. How small? Pull one single hair out of your head. Take your human hair, divide it by a thousand in diameter, that's around 100 nanometers. That's around a nanoparticle. These gold nanoparticles cluster when exposed to mercury. The more mercury, the bigger the clusters. The phone's camera measures the clusters and kicks out a reading. Those readings get uploaded to a central map, and his fellow researchers can spot possibly poisonous patterns. Osan even got to take his new tool on a sunny field trip. We've uh, went through the coastal uh, region here, the beaches in LA, and we've mapped all the concentration of the uh, mercury uh, in, uh, in our beach water. The professor hopes his cheap, small add-on can help towns and villages across the world stay safe. Why are we seeing, for example, these heavy uh, uh, mercury con concentrations, contamination, in these parts, whereas the neighboring villages or whatever are way clean. All with the help of a piece of technology billions of people use every day.